you know, speaking of eating, I feel like all I've done the last five days because, you know, being stuck inside, yeah. boredom leads to hunger, it seems for me. I don't know why. It sh and, you know, not and getting out. And this time out. of year, it's like uh. comfort food galore, right? <laughs> a little batch of Halloween candy thrown in the mix. Uh, TV, and forget you can't about leave the it. house and all that. But finally, right, we'll see the sun today. We will. And hopefully, you'll be able to get out and enjoy it as the temperatures will be running above average. We haven't said that yet this month here. First five days of the month, cool and unsettled. Now, it's a process if you're out early this morning. Don't at me. I know it's still cloudy out, misty too in New Bedford, but those clouds will be clearing out. We've got big improvements, a dry stretch of weather, and a beautiful Columbus Day weekend on the way. Those are our three main weather headlines. Temperatures this morning, they're not very chilly. We're between 55 and 60, which is well above average. The cloud cover hanging around and even still a few showers. There's some mist and drizzle over eastern Mass too. You can see an isolated shower crossing 495. Most of these will stay east of 495 early this morning as our system finally lifts out of here and moves away the back edge of the clouds will clear out from west to east so that is a process that takes through the morning this is 9 a.m. seeing some clearing over western new england and rhode island going to be right on that line by the end of the morning commute so clouds giving way to sunshine still some lingering clouds even in the afternoon in the cape and the islands but those two will eventually clear out to a nice finish to the day Evening hours looking dry. We'll get a little batch of clouds in here overnight and a bit of patchy fog for when you wake up on Friday morning. But a lot of Friday just filled with sunshine and dry air ahead of a cold front. Now that front comes through in the evening. You're going to feel a shift in the winds. We'll be picking up a little bit and some cooler air will return for the start of the weekend. So as we head into the morning hours, clouds giving way to sun. Temperatures by 10 a.m. around 60. That's as warm as we've gotten over the last few days. Noontime 65. And in the second half of the day, temperatures keep on climbing with more sunshine. So lower 70s expected this afternoon. 6 o'clock this evening around 67 degrees. We'll stay in the 50s tonight. Again, clouds on the increase and patchy fog mid 50s for overnight lows. Taking a look at our seven day forecast tomorrow looking great, warm and dry into the lower to middle 70s with uh, pleasant conditions continuing on into Friday evening. You're going to feel that cool down when you wake up on Saturday. 40s in the morning, upper 50s for highs on Saturday afternoon. But a seasonable second half of the weekend is on the way. So if you're headed to the Federal Hill Parade, it steps off at 11 a.m. after a chilly beginning to the day. We'll be climbing from the 50s into the lower 60s. Monday, very beautiful for Columbus Day. Pumpkin picking, apple picking, maybe heading to Winsockets Autumn Fest. The weather cooperating into the low to mid 60s for highs in the afternoon, cool and dry in the evening. In fact, starting today and lasting to the middle of next week.